Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Do a TV. I've been doing that a lot lately. Yee! I am back this week. I had a little downtime last week, but I am back this week. I had downtime because I had my first needling session, skin treatment, I should say. And it was great. It was really great. I actually really enjoyed it. It was kind of that weird, sensitive yet addictive kind of pain if I ever had have had a tattoo have had if I ever would get a tattoo which I wouldn't if you've seen my TMI tag you know that I say you never put a bumper sticker on a Bentley I assume it's that kind of pain like that bordering on excruciating but not and it's kind of like Ooh, it hurts, but you want more? It's kind of like that. It's mini needles in like a rotator head, just just basically jabbing and breaking the pore of the skin open repetitively. So you basically come out like with, there's a particular type of word, all the beauticians out there, my beautician said it. There's a particular type of word for the pores to break and bleed a little bit. Don't know what it was, but anyway, my skin reacted really well and responded great to the needling and it did that. And then what it does is it causes massive collagen rush uh, for your skin to then heal and repair itself. And it slowly over time, the pits of scarring start to uh, level out and become smoother. So it shall eventually help, help my scarring. I had very, very, very bad acne uh, 10 years ago. I was in a car accident and uh, if you don't know, I was in a car accident and one of the side effects when my brain restarted type thing was that I got really, really bad cystic acne and then it got really uh, bad scarring after it. So that is what I am fixing 10 years later. So that is why I was off camera. Uh, but I'm back today with a tag. I have been tagged in quite a few videos and I love doing tag videos. If you have tagged me in a video, please try to reach out to me somewhere on my socials so that I can then know uh, because I may not see it or I may not hear about it and then yeah and then it just goes past me and I get really upset because I like tag videos. I think it brings the community together. It brings you know all of us together to sort of hear everyone's answers and I think that's just really fun. I do want to say a shout out to one of my subbies. I got this me I got this message on my last tag video that I did uh, which was luxury the luxury handbag tag by Lydia and it was just so sweet. Hi Lisa! Lisa Gomez wrote to me, great video, I'm so glad you did this tag video. A tag video is not complete until you do it, Jerusha. Ah, I just was, I read it to her mom, I was like, is that the coolest thing or what? And mom was like, that's so sweet. So thank you so much, Lisa, that's so kind. Uh, so this tag video, uh, was created and started by my beautiful friend Shay. Hi Shay. She is so gorgeous. She too is a mummy and with boys. The boy, the mummy boy life. Anyway, so Shay started this tag video and it is uh, kind of not really controversial, but it's like, don't take offense is the like, <laughs> you know conditions at the bottom of the tag please don't take offense uh, I think if you do this tag that's great please do it and it just sort of circulates ideas and maybe items and bags that didn't work for you and I think that's a good thing too not everything's gonna work for everybody and I don't know it's just fun to sort of hear so please don't take offense to my answers as I'm sure you didn't to the other girls. So when I saw the tag, I was like, oh, I'm a Amazon a star. I got a whole folder. No, I didn't get a whole folder, but I really thought through the items and it kind of made a folder, but I'm, I'm not gonna do all of them because it would be way too long. The first one I will tell you, and the thing with this tag is how Shay put it in the beginning is that like, you lust over this bag or you lust over this item and you build it up in your head and and then you go see it or 
I don't know, make, maybe you haven't seen it and you negotiate it pre-loved and it just it falls through or something and it's just, it dis it's kind of a little bit heartbreaking like, oh, you build it up to something and then you see it and it just does not work for you. It does not look good on your body, body. it doesn't work for your lifestyle, it doesn't fit what you need it to, it's too small, it's too big, it's too this, it's too that. And uh, when she was saying this in the tag, I was like, oh my God, I know the feeling. I just know it on so many bags, not so many, but on a few bags, I really know the feeling. So the first one would have to be, uh, the. I'm going to put pictures as the other girls did, uh, the Gucci Soho bag, the actual classic Soho. This isn't the Soho Disco, which is the little rectangle. This is the classic Soho. I had seen BJ Taylor, hi babe, I had seen her review on hers and fell madly in love with it, like head over heels. I was like, this is it, that's exactly, this was back when we lived in the beach house, when we were beach, when we were um, house sitting in the beach house, you know, with the, the big wardrobe that everyone loved. And it was around that time and I was like, I love it, this is it. I love that bag, it's leather and the lining is so beautiful and the chain. And I even went to a point where I was chatting to BJ about it and I was like, what do you think? What do you think? She was like, yes. I was like, do you want to sell yours? And she was like, yeah, I do, but I want this much for it. And I was sort of like, oh, okay, I can, I can get it here new or like whatever the conversion rates are to the dollar and stuff like that. And um, I don't know. And I sat on it. I sat on it for a long time. I want to say maybe a month to two months is how long I sat on it. And I lost it over it. Like, I'm going to try, this is going to be really weird, really weird. I'm going to explain, <laughs> explain to you what I mean by lust. Like in your quiet times, maybe you're making a nice cup of tea or you're making, you know, your husband dinner or your kids dinner and you just have a moment where you think of that bag and it just brings you like you just lust over it from afar you don't know if it's going to be in your life you don't know if it's going to suit your life you don't even know anything really about it you haven't seen it in person but you just the thought of it makes you so warm and happy inside i don't know you know pump the brakes i don't know if anybody else feels this way but when i am researching a bag this is the feeling I sometimes get. I'm like, oh, that bag, that's so exciting. Like, it's the excitement of like, oh, I like to even just think about it for a long time so that I'm just sure and do I keep getting that same happy feeling? Well, I did about this bag. And then, um, had Gucci opened at Westfield Bondo Junction? I'm not quite sure. Either way, I got into Gucci at Westfield Bondo Junction and it was like, it was so, it was just pumped the brakes. The size of it versus me, it was so odd. It wasn't big enough, but it wasn't small enough. The chains, the way they move through the grommets, it slipped, it irritated me. The, and the, the way it dropped when you took it off your shoulder, you took one strap off and it kind of all plummeted. Whoa, it was the biggest like kind of let down ever. I, it was just this whole letdown that I had never experienced before. It's my first time sort of seeing a bag that I had lusted over in person and built it up so big and then I just saw it and I was like, whoa, that's not what I thought it was going to be like. So that was my first one. Uh, this, <laughs> the second one, which I did build up massively, but I built it up in a colour that was like the lust was the colour, colour, colour and then I saw it in real life and they didn't have that color. So, do you understand? Like I was like, oh my God, beige, beige, beige. And then when I was in Hong Kong and I was in Celine and I saw the bag, I was like, but it's black. It's not what this world that I've made in my head, it's black, it's only black. I said, do you have it in beige? They're like, no, no, we only have them in black. And it was like a navy and it just killed it for me. It absolutely killed it for me. That was the Celine pebbled, pebbled leather with the beige suede wings in the trapeze bag and it was specifically in the small size with the strap. <laughs> it was like beige, 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 but it's black. 
but it's black. And I was like, are you sure we don't have anything in beige? And they had nothing in beige. And I tried to think in my head if they had it in beige, would I have wanted it? I don't know, something about it in black, it just looked... I don't know, it didn't pop as much as I wanted it to and I tried to sort of go, oh, I'll come back tomorrow and we came back from our hotel and it just didn't, it didn't work. I ended up buying my large shadows by Celine, my large shadow sunnies. But yeah, that was another letdown and that was a colour specific situation. These three I would just quickly run through. They were only just uh, bags I didn't end up buying. When I saw them in person I was just like, whoa whoa <laughs> hello hold up it's so small you are a absolute whale jerusha you are a moose you can't like i am 170 centimeters tall like and, and i'm a big girl like <laughs> i just look like i was honestly holding a little teeny toy box it was just the brakes pumped so these three bags are the celine nano so cute, love it, lust over it. Kendall Jenner has it, so cute. Oh my God, bloggers have it. No, not on me. It's like this big. So the Celine Nano was a different no, no. The Balenciaga Mini City, obsessed with it. I was obsessed with it. And in large gold hardware, giant hardware, oh, so cute. Tiny, absolutely tiny, minuscule. And the Mini, um, the mini Givenchy Nightingale, I saw that at the airport in Hong Kong, and that too. So those three tiny, tiny little bags, so tiny. And the last one I'm going to say bags that I didn't buy is from Vuitton. And I have tried a few times with the favourite. I have gone in and tried it on, I sort of sit and look at it and mull it over online, and it's just never done it for me. I, I know that a lot of people, and again, no offense to the tag, and I know a lot of people love the favorite. They really prefer it, and they prefer it so much over the Eva. I wouldn't, and the funny thing is, is I think I, at first I was kind of like, oh, would it be like doubling up? But that's not it at all. I would definitely get the favorite, even if I have the Eva clutch. I don't think that's doubling up, because one's a zipper, One's a magnetic, it's a flat bag, you can, you, you know, you're committing to a flap, you got to open and close it. That's a zipper, completely different. And the favourite, MM, definitely holds way more than a favourite, uh, sorry, than an Eva. Uh, so I don't even think they're comparable like that. I don't, wouldn't not get it because of doubling up. I just, I don't know, I never pressed go on it, I never... You know, I never reached that point where I was just like, yes, got to have it, makes my heart sing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. I also don't like the strap feature. I think the fact it's not like an Eva is silly. I think it should have two of the Vuitton hooks on either side, not a thread through and a hook. I think that's just cheapens the bag. I don't, didn't think they needed to do that design feature. And the magnet, I don't, is it maybe that I don't like that it's a magnetic closure? I'm not quite sure. I can't clearly, clearly, I can't put it into words. I'm just like babbling like, but that is, yeah, that would definitely have to be my last didn't buy item. So that is it. That is it for my tag of uh, items I did not buy or bags and handbags I did not buy. When I saw them in real life, that is pretty much the reasons why. Uh, but nevertheless, luxury is luxury. I think if you own or get or receive or get gifted one of these bags, good on you. They are absolutely beautiful bags, so well constructed. The houses are divine and they've been around for decades and clearly are very very successful so this is just my list of things to answer this tag so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up i think everybody has kind of done this tag if you have not done this tag please do it i will tag karis to do this tag and i will tag bj to do this tag if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so guys i'll be really great i will see you in my next video take care peace